What's up, guys? Kelvin here. So two days ago、uh, was April Fool, and we released two new products. I would say most of the people don't believe it's real because, based on our record, in the past two years, April Fool,、uh, every April Fool will release something, and then people will know it's fake. But this year is real. So、um, in this video, I'm going to show you both product that、uh, we just released on April first, and then、uh, one is the Acro B65、uh, BRB4 with Crossfire built-in. The other one is the Ghost、uh, receiver built-in. And then both product are pretty similar.、Uh, they are just developed based on the BLB、uh, BLV4 product line.、Uh, let's open this two, and then、uh, I can show you the detail. Let's do the TBS one first. And this is the BLV4、uh, with Crossfire built-in. When you get it, it's it's basically ready to go. You just need to plug in a battery and bind to your radio and ready to go. And people was、uh, talking about it's not、uh, built-in receiver. So I'm going to open this up so you can see the board from the top to the bottom. There is no external receiver. And in here, you see the antenna. We have the、uh, mini multi antenna. It's basically mount to the back of the camera. Let's open it up. Let me unplug both、uh, UFL connector. So the top here, it's a camera, a multi antenna for the receiver, and this is the VTX,、uh, the VTX antenna. So the total top cover with the camera and antenna is there, and this is the. Fright control board with uh, VTX, uh, the new VTX with the 400 milliwatt Smart Max technology built in, and then also with the Crossfire Nano built in. It's actually the same、uh, receiver as the Crossfire Nano. We just basically moved the schematic,、uh, just merged into our BLV4, and then do the layout and put it become just one board. Uh, I mean, it's not easy to do that because you can see it's very, very tight for the space.、Uh, this whole area, this whole area is the receiver. So on the bottom, there is nothing. Okay, let's put this back, and then I'm going to、uh, show you the ghost version. It's basically pretty similar. All right, let's just sit it on the side, and I will put this back later. Let's open the Ghost editions and show you what's inside. So this is the Ghost edition, and it's pretty similar.、Uh, there's not much things difference. Let's open it up. So this is the Ghost editions BLV4. Let me bring the. A TBS one together, so you guys can、uh, just compare it side to side. So the only differences between these two is just、uh, the Ghost one because the、uh, the receiver space it allows us to put、um, the external UART port in here.、Uh, so we will still put that in. And then the, for the Crossfire one, you see the components. It's big and then also it's very very tight on the space. So there's no not too much space that we can still have that JST plug in here, but I mean you already have、uh, both receiver are pretty much the best on the market. I don't think you will need another external receiver, so it doesn't matter. So、um, other than that,、uh, everything else is pretty similar. It comes with the BLV4 Smart Max VTX.、Uh, it's basically、uh, temperature controls、um, and. When the temperature is low on the board, the PID will kick in and move the、uh, the output power up, and it's up to 400 milliwatts.、So、with the Crossfire or the Ghost, they both are pretty good at long range.、Um, it can go pretty far. I think the bottleneck is is just the battery right now. And the the other things I want to mention is we have the upgraded motor 
it's actually the OAO2 double ball bearing motor and they are 27,000 kV right now. Why are we putting a 27,000 kV motor on here? It's because our team pilot, they all suggest to go with 27, so we'll go for that. But on the production products, we set a throttle cap at uh, 80%. If you want to have the full power, just go to beta fry and then uh, unlock the throttle cap and you can get the full power of it. The other things is, uh, uh, for the binding, if you want to bind it to your radio, it's exactly the same process as you doing normal Crossfire Nano or Ghost Receiver. Just do the same things and you can bind to your radio. It took us almost two years to get this project done, but finally we get it in here. And for those you believe first, on April 1st, uh, you already put in the order, you might already get the products. And for those of you who don't believe it, and then now you believe it, you want to get it, it's out of stock right now uh, in our California warehouse. So you might need to wait for one or two days. We have the second batch coming in, but you can also get it from PBS store and you can see it uh, in there. And for the ghost version, you can go to Orca store. You can see it there. All right, that's it for the video. Um, thank you so much for the support and then the trust for a newbie drone, even though April 1st, it's kind of things uh, that we keep messing around every year. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below uh, and we will do our best to answer. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.